Time knows no frontiers. To combat the growing menace of the international criminal, the police forces of the world have opened up their own national boundaries. At their headquarters in Paris, scientifically equipped to match the speed of the jet age, 63 nations have linked together to form the International Criminal Police Organization, Interpol. <laughs> I am making a last attempt to reach the West Zone. If anything goes wrong, inform relations at Gruten House, Vienna. Ernst Kaltmann. The Austrian financier? Can't be. Ernst Kaltmann was murdered back in 1947. Yeah, that's right. By his partner, Schroeder. Suddenly, here was Kaltmann back from the dead. Yet his partner, Schroeder, was serving a life sentence for his murder. So Schroeder had to be released at once. From Interpol files, I knew the situation was dynamite. I flew straight to Austria. Schroeder must be bitter. Yes, he's been here 10 years for murdering a man who's still alive and who suddenly turns up from the Russian zone. A closed case. We didn't expect to open this file again. Neither did a few state departments. They got quite a shock. Herr Schroeder, it only remains for me to give you your passport and release papers, and on behalf of the state to express our deepest regret. You'll regret it even more soon. There are quite a lot to tell the newspapers about this place. That sort of attitude won't help, Schroeder. What can you know about it? I always said I was innocent. You had a fair trial, but the law can make mistakes. The police were out to get me. Nonsense. Any court would have convicted you. You admitted you had planned to kill Kaltmann. You'd quarreled, you threatened to kill him, he disappears. Then a body is fished out of the Danube. Then wrongly identified. Well, how are people to know that Kaltmann had been kidnapped and taken into the East Zone? Well, you know now. You'll be compensated. I'll get my own compensation. What do you mean, Schroeder? Just remember the law books. You can't be tried twice for the same crime, right? Right. Bear it in mind. Dangerous talk from an ex-Nazi. Will he be watched? Of course, it's all been arranged. But if he moves out of Vienna, let me know. I'll be in Berlin. You're going to see Kaufman? Yes. He may be on two kinds of danger list. Will system pass proceed to X-ray and report to radiologist? How is Kaltman, Doctor? Remarkably well, considering. How he ever made his escape with that heart of his, I don't know. Ten years on the other side have made him like a scarecrow. 
But he's got guts. He'll need them. His daughter arrived yet? Ten minutes ago. She's already talking about taking him back to the States. Oh, it's much too soon to think of moving him. The newspapers keep phoning, Doctor. What shall I tell them? Oh, tell them the patient is as well as can be expected. For somebody who's come back from the dead. Dr. Berger, I want to post a man outside this door. Why? Is there danger to my patient? There might be. Schroeder talked to the newspapers the moment he got out. He made a lot of threats. Nobody can get at Kaltmann in this hospital. I hope you're right. His daughter, Eva, has just come from America. We're guarding him just the same. Do you really think Schroeder wants to harm him? Schroeder thinks he has a right to kill Kaltmann. That he's already paid for the privilege. That's the door. Vienna, urgent. Schroeder's on the move. Get me Inspector Duval, Berlin. Priority. He's so weak, I just can't help him. You are helping just by being here. You can stay at the hospital. There's a room for you on the staff wing. How long will it be before he can travel? Weeks, at least. But we must get away quickly, as far as we can, from Schroeder. Don't worry about Schroeder. He's being watched. You're very kind, but you do not know him. Do you? You were only a small child at the time. We don't underestimate him. We know everything about him at Interpol. But we don't overestimate him either. He will stop at nothing, nothing to take his revenge on my father. Now look, relax. Pretty soon you'll take your father away and you'll start a new life together. Wherever we go, Schroeder will follow us. Not with his record. He was a Nazi. He couldn't get an American visa. Of course, I never thought of that. Meanwhile, a policeman will remain on duty here. No unauthorized person will be allowed to enter the room. Will that set your mind at rest? Yeah. Good. Will you be staying in Berlin? I won't be far away. Thank you. Would Inspector Duval please come to the nearest telephone? Duval? Hello, Paul? Yes, Jean. Schroeder is on his way. Yes? Yes, all right. Thank you, Jean. Schroeder crossed the frontier into Germany by car. I suppose they couldn't stop him. And he's a German citizen. He has no criminal record now. And his passport's in order. So he comes home to his own country. Pity we can't get Kaltmann out of it. In his condition, impossible. Oh, here are the details. Gray sports car, 1959, crossed the frontier at Duxburg at 4.10 a.m., heading north. Straight for Berlin. Let's get back to headquarters and follow his progress. Flowers delivered at reception. Oh, thank you. Is there a card? I wonder who they can be from. Lilies. That's the wrong sort of flower from invalid. They must have come by mistake. No, it was no mistake. Just to let you know, I'm on my way. Schroeder. Inspector Duval. Must see him. Those flowers. Now, there is nothing to worry about, Herr Kaltmann. Lilies, they are for death. You mustn't talk like that. Schroeder sent them. He means to kill me. They were lilies. White lilies. Sent by wire, from Munich. He checked into a hotel there three hours ago. We trailed him right across Bavaria. There are men watching him now. But you told me he was still in Vienna. He moved this afternoon. Why didn't you tell me? It was unnecessary to worry you. He's still a long way off. But you cannot stop him coming to Berlin? No, but Berlin is an island. 
You can only get in through the Soviet zone. The inspector has a checkpoint at every road. We're taking no chances. We have a security plan ready if he moves. And we shall have armed men at every gate of the hospital. Now, my driver will take you back. You need a rest. I will only rest when we're in America. Well, the armed guards are ready. We'll send them out the moment he moves. Visiting hours are going to be tough, with hundreds of people flooding into the hospital. All the guards have seen his photograph. He's 12 years old. Yes, I've warned them of that. Why did he take a car? Why not a plane? More freedom of action. He could try to shake us off. Yes, he can try. Where did you find us out? Alert all stations at once. He's gone. He's left his home in Munich, his car's still outside. Fine bit of police work. He could get here by night plane. How many flights are there? Two. Better get your guards ready. Sergeant, get your men to the hospital immediately. Is that the Din Linden Hospital? Give me casualty, please. Casualty? My name is Schmidt, Dr. Schmidt. I'm speaking from box 539. Where? The corner of Kalbichstrasse. Kalbichstrasse? I have found a man collapsed on the sidewalk. Looks like diabetic coma. He needs urgent attention. We'll send an ambulance immediately, doctor. Keep an extra sharp lookout. Schroeder slipped the net. He may try to enter the hospital. You'll have a tough job, sir. Good. Here comes the ambulance now. We'll have you in hospital in a few minutes. You'll be all right. Just relax. I'll check if the duty doctor's ready to see you now. Emergency operation. Nurse! Yes, doctor. Patient Falcottomy. Plenty of blood. Get the theater ready. Yes, doctor. What are his chances? Difficult to say. <gasps> Schroeder got through by plane. Your father has been wounded. I'm sorry. I knew you couldn't stop him. Nobody could. Schroeder never gives up. You mustn't give up either. Your father didn't. Are they going to operate? Immediately. And go to your room. No, I must be with him. Ah. 
But you will not leave him. No, I won't leave him. Better get that wound seen to in casualty. It's going to be a tough job. There are 2,000 people in this hospital. We're looking for one. Anyway, I've seen the buildings off. I'm going to stick with Kaltmann. This is a special announcement. The police are searching for a man who is at large in the hospital. His name is Schroeder. He is armed and dangerous. Until further orders, police are guarding all exits, and no one must leave or enter the building. Hospital staff must lock all doors and immediately report anything suspicious. Schroeder is tall, thick-set, gray eyes, and has mustache. Was last seen wearing medium gray suit. Will the theater sister please report to Dr. Berker? Theater 3 for emergency operation. That must be Kaltman. See you later. If you are staying, try not to get in my way. How long will it last? Depends. Ten minutes or forty. The quicker the better with that heart of his. His daughter wanted to stay too. It's ridiculous. This is an operating theater. Don't worry. I sent her to her room. One thing. You're not the fainting type, I hope. In my profession, I see a lot of blood too. Yes, I suppose you do. You startled me, Fräulein. I'm sorry. Oh, where's the operating theater? This way. I'm going there myself. All set? All set, Doctor. Right. those people? Students. I want to make this as quickly as possible. The patient won't take a prolonged strain. Gentlemen, this man has a chest wound with a bullet placed in or near the pericardium, with probable damage to the large arteries leading from the heart. I'm going to open the chest and try and repair the damage and also remove the bullet. Started to operate. Is Inspector Duval in there? He's right beside the operating table. Please, may I stay here? Certainly. Please sit down. Blood pressure's failing. Pulse rising. Forceps. He's failing. He's dead. Come. 
cardiac massage. Watch the time, we'll get it two minutes. No need to hurry, Duval. I would have waited for you. Guard! Arrest this man. On what charge? Murder of Anne Skalkman. Don't you think that will raise an interesting legal point? I can't be charged twice with the same murder. No. In law, sure, that any violence is punishable. As you wish. By the way, I imagine you will want this as evidence. The murder weapon, Exhibit A. I do not, of course, deny the charge. There wouldn't be any point. You said you'd kill him often enough. Get Captain Fisher. And I have paid for his death. Paid in advance. It was owed to me. It isn't going to work, Schroeder. You're not in Austria now. And you haven't been tried in Germany before. The place does not matter. It is the same crime. Is it? Your lawyers will argue it. But no judge or jury will accept it. One minute forty. One minute forty five. He's got a pulse. Don't look so worried, Captain. I gave you and your men the slip. But even if you had caught me, I would still have got Kalkman in the end. Once I start something, I never give up. Neither did Kalkman. The cardiac massage was successful. It's going to be all right. The charge may be reduced to attempted murder. Either way, as you say, it'll be an interesting case. Oh, my father. How is he? He's going to be all right. You'll soon be taking him to America. <sighs> Thank you. How long did his heart stop? One minute and 45 seconds exactly. That makes him the only man I know who came back from the dead. Twice.